because of who I am and the fact that I was so much better than everyone else in martial arts and I was making it known when I was a teenager, the government set the stage to sabotage me. They wanted to sabotage me using mental health. They sabotaged me using a car accident. They even sabotaged me using females. The three pictures you'll see at the end of this video are me when I'm 17, me in my 20s, and me when I'm about 27, 28. Okay. Notice, I, I start drinking really when I'm about 20, 21. I start heavily drinking as a result of all the heartbreak that was going on in my 20s. Okay, and I didn't quit until I was about 27, 28. And the picture is me after I had quit for several months. I quit in May 2009. And by August, I took that picture, the end of August. So I, the drinking really took its toll on my body. And using my martial arts system, not anyone else's, everyone else's keep the black man down kind of garbage, token minority trash, okay? I made myself a lot healthier. I was, I was, I was so much damaged from drinking that I look worse in the picture at the end from 2009, Illuminati part one, than I do right now, okay? After all the fuming and covert drugging, okay, and and um, of course going to the psych the psych psych meds taking its toll on my body as well, okay, it is unfucking believable how much damage women cause me, and it was basically three main three major groups were causing me damage, okay, it was the white white skin supremacists, whites and Jews, okay, especially mental health, law enforcement, the government, okay, secret societies, you know, social clubs, etc., okay, it's females. Okay, and the LGBT community who was focused on their kind of people they're trying to elevate. Okay, they're focused on trying to make LGBT martial arts, quote unquote, seem superior. That's the Hollywood, that's the MMA, that's the American martial arts uh, styles American Taekwondo, American Karate, American kickboxing. Okay, they're focused on trying to make these guys seem ideal. Just like Greco-Roman wrestling. That's why it's called that. It's white supremacy. It's the LGBT pederasty kind of pedophiles who would bring the kids chocolates and turn them out and train them in hunting and fighting and wrestling and so on and so forth. Okay, they're trying to make that stuff seem superior. Even the guy in the UFC, he's called Dana White. Okay, and they love the wordplay. They love the wordplay. You have that, that mayor in uh, San Francisco called London Breed. Okay, they love the wordplay. They love the wordplay. You know, when I was in high school, there was also a guy called Mr. White. He was one of the uh, high-ranking teachers there in charge of the dormitories. Long story, but look at these pictures. Keep in mind, they say heartache breaks the, uh, crushes the spirit in their Bible. Okay, the Jews and the Christians alike have read this many times. Okay, they know about that. They know about psychology. They wanted to break me down to make their people seem superior. That's why, and I'm sure we can all agree it's fair, God will never accept any order that starts with them. And in fact, God won't accept any prayers after I'm gone, after all of you people. I'm in the most populated state, okay, in one of the most populated countries in the world. I reached out to thousands and thousands of women. And as God's son, the son of two doctors, one a brain surgeon, the response was pathetic. It's an extreme disgrace. Many, many representatives from all the cultures that are allowed were included with those women and the people that were sabotaging me. It's open and shut.